All right, magic time and dance time. I can't wait for magic time. Ooh, look at that little trick I just did. What's up everybody, so today I'm doing another magic video, and I haven't done a magic video in probably years now. The biggest video on my channel is magic, I believe. It has eight million views. Now I realized from doing a video that is kind of explaining magic tricks or card tricks, I got like 400 different emails from magicians or magicians. Their names weren't even creative. It was like their first name, but was like magic. It was like Magic Dan, Magic Steve, Magic John, Magic Wilson, Magic Johnson. <laughs> okay, not Magic Johnson, he's a basketball player. He did not email me. Also, Check out this cookie of me and Charlie. Look at that. Here's the original picture, and here's a picture of Charlie and I. Crazy, how crazy is that? I don't want to eat it, I've had it for two days. I know, and I'm storing it in this frying pan. I know. All you're gonna need for this entire video is a deck of cards, and these aren't like trick cards that are like fake, or you've got like extra ones. This is a standard deck of cards. All of these tricks, and I mean all of them, you will be able to do the second this video is done. Skill level is rated at level one. However, the outcome is, is pretty cool. The way I'm gonna film this is I'm gonna do it at an above angle. I'm gonna show you guys the trick first, and then I'm gonna teach you. Okay, so for this first trick, you're gonna need 21 cards. So shuffle the deck so your audience knows that it isn't rigged. So I'm gonna take out 21 cards because this, this one involves 21 cards. Okay, one, two, Okay, we're gonna take this, put that aside, we don't need that. We just need 21 cards. Pick a card, any card. Now show the audience. That's the card. Put it back anywhere you want in the pile, they're gonna be like, okay, let's put it right here. It doesn't matter where. Then shuffle it again so they know that it's perfectly mixed in there. So next I'm gonna deal out this deck into three piles. Keep an eye on which pile your card is because at the end I need you to tell me which pile it's in. Okay, which pile was your card in? This one, okay, perfect. Okay, we're gonna do it again. Which pile was your card in? This one, really? It wasn't that one? Okay, shoot. Let's do this again. Which pile was your card in? The middle one again. So, here's what we're gonna do. Let's do this one more time, and I'm gonna just try to sense which card is yours, okay? That's your card. Yeah! Boom! Eight of diamonds. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do that trick. Okay, so you have the 21 cards. Pick a card, any card. So let's pick this one right here. Uh, the four of hearts, okay? Four parts. They go, they show everybody, you don't see it. You never see it. They then put it back randomly. And then what you do is you're gonna shuffle the deck, okay? Once your audience is satisfied with the shuffling, you're then gonna start. You're gonna say, okay, you're gonna put it in three piles. So one, 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 and you're just gonna keep going back and forth like that. And again, you're not gonna know which card they picked, okay? We know it's the four of hearts only because I'm teaching you guys. There's the four of hearts. So then you're gonna say, which pile is your card in? They're gonna say, this pile. You're gonna go, okay. Now this is where the trick is important. If you mess this up, you mess up the entire trick. You can grab any pile first, but as long as when you grab, okay, that the pile with their card in it is sandwiched in the middle of these two, okay? You're gonna do it again. Again, you're gonna ask which pile was your card in? They're gonna say middle. Now to make it more real, you can kind of start to panic and be like, really, are you sure? You sure it's not that one? You sure, okay. And then what you're gonna do is again, make it look natural. Okay, so grab that, put that one in the middle, and the last one on top. You're gonna do it for a third time. It's important you always do this three times. You're gonna say, okay, that was the last time. Which pile is it in? Let me guess this one. They're gonna say, no, Dan, it's this one, because that's where their card is. You're just gonna guess wrong. So go ahead, and you're gonna sandwich it one more time. Now this is where the fun happens. You're gonna do it again, almost like it's your fourth time doing it. And always, always on the 11th card is gonna be theirs. This is gonna be the four of hearts. I haven't even looked, but I'm guessing four of hearts. It always works out that if you do the shuffle thing three full times, the 11th card will always be their card. Trick number two, you're only gonna need royal cards. However, you're gonna leave out the spades. So we've got the clubs, 
We've got the diamonds, and we've got the hearts. I want you guys to pick one of the suits. Diamonds, sure. I want you guys to take this and shuffle. Your audience then shuffles, or you could do it, it doesn't matter. And you're gonna go one, two, three. Next suit with the other one, okay? Shuffle. Any way you want, and you're gonna put that down, two, three, however you like, you. they can do it in any order possible. Last, we have the hearts. Shuffle, 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 one, two. Next, you're gonna get your audience to put the decks on top of each other in any order that they want. Okay, so they want this on top of that, and this on top of that, perfect. Now we're left with a deck. Now I want you to split the deck as many times as you want. Okay, you want three, so one, two, Three. Now to make it even more complicated, I'm gonna split the deck again. I'm gonna make two piles, just like this. Which one would you guys want to go on top of the other? Okay, we'll do this one, sure. That's that one on top. Now the way this trick works is I have to use the power of the suit gods, meaning I gotta reach out to the club, the heart, and the diamond god. So we're gonna go like this. We're gonna call them by spelling out the name. C L U B. Now let's call it the heart god. H E A R T. Last is diamond. D I A M O N D. Perfect. So we've got three down. Now, just so you guys don't think I'm like doing any sort of order, we're going to go from this way now. Ready? B. T. And D. Now, just to speed it up, we're just gonna put the last three down, okay? Now, if the suit gods answer my call, these should all be back in order. Yeah! Look at that. The hearts have been reunited, the diamonds have been reunited, and the clubs have been reunited, even though we did all that shuffling. I'm gonna show you guys now how to do this. Now, this one is very easy to mess up, so make sure you follow along very carefully. Take out the face cards of the clubs, diamonds, and hearts. Again, no spades, because spades will not work. Starts off with the three. You say, pick any suit you want. It could be anyone. We'll start with clubs this time. They shuffle it, and what they do, move these back. They're gonna put them down in three piles, okay? You say, go ahead, they can choose whatever one they want next. They're gonna pick hearts, they shuffle it, and then again, doesn't matter which order, they just put them down one on top of the other. Same thing, right? So like this, one, two, three. Now you have three piles. Now to make them feel like they're in control again, you're gonna say, go ahead and pick any single deck and put it on top of each other. Just go like this. We're now back with a pile. Just to make it even more complicated and make it seem like the cards get more mixed up, get them to cut it as many times as they want. So to cut a deck, you put the bottom back on the top. You can, that's one, that's two, three, we'll do three, but they can do as many as they want. Now we have the deck that's been cut multiple times. Just to make it even more complex, you or they are gonna deal it into two separate piles, just like this, okay? and give them the choice again. Which one do you want to go on top of the other? Well, this time they want that to go on top. Okay, no problem. We're back with a pile again. Now this is where you cannot mess up. This is where the trick happens. You're gonna do the whole story about reaching out to the suit gods and you're gonna spell out club, not clubs, club. So you're gonna go C, you're gonna read the top card and put it on the bottom. L, top card on bottom, U, and then for B, you put it down there. Next you're gonna do heart. Pluralizations won't work for this. So you're gonna go T. And the last one, diamond. D. Now it's important that you don't do it again the same order. You're gonna say, guys, just so you guys don't think I'm cheating and doing the same uniform order, we're gonna go this way now. And you're gonna put club on this side. So you're gonna go C. L U B. T. D. Okay? And now for the last three, just so you're not counting three cards, you're just gonna go, I'm just gonna speed up the process and do it again. But make sure you put the three down like you did with the second way, from this side to that side. This is where you do the big reveal, you say maybe they answered my calls, and boom, they should all be back in order. Yeah! Just like that. Here's trick number three. This one involves the entire deck, okay? Spread them out just like this along the table. Okay, you, uh, Jessica, Jessica, of course, of course the name Jessica. Go ahead and pick any card. She goes, okay, perfect. I'm gonna pick the seven of clubs. So she she takes seven of clubs. 
Okay, uh, Josh, go ahead, pick one. Okay, Josh is gonna take, I don't know, the five of diamonds, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these and put them back in the deck, just like that. They have their cards right there and there. You're now gonna deal and go, okay, Jessica, tell me when to stop and we're gonna put your card in there. Stop, okay, whatever, she can say stop whenever. She puts it in there, okay? Okay, we're gonna go like this, ready? Josh, tell me when to stop now. Stop. Okay, we're gonna put yours there. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fan out the cards again. So there's Jessica's card, Josh's card. There's Josh's card right here, okay? Found it. So this would be in order just like this. It would keep following along. It's a little messy, but this is how it would go. Okay guys, I'm gonna predict where you guys split the deck. This card right here, without me even looking, I can already tell, is the Nine of Clubs. Jessica, I'm getting King of Diamond vibes. King of Diamonds. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do this one. Fan it out, again, it doesn't really work well on here, you might want a tablecloth or something to fan out the cards, okay? Pick somebody that's watching and say, I want you to pick a card. They're gonna go, okay, let's see which one we're gonna pick. Okay, I'm gonna pick, they're gonna go for an obscure one, let's say, two of diamonds. Pick one. Josh is gonna go, oh, okay, let me look in here. Ooh, I'm gonna pick the three of hearts. Josh picks three of hearts. Now, as they're picking, it doesn't really matter which cards they pick, as long as you remember this card, the 10 of clubs, and the very last card, which should only be peeking out, don't make it obvious, but this is gonna be the Jack of Spades. You're gonna take the deck and you're gonna run through it. You're gonna say, Jessica, tell me when to stop and we're gonna put your card in there. She can go as long as she wants, okay? Jessica says, okay, stop. Take Jessica's two of diamonds and put it there. Now this is where it happened, this is the sneaky part. The 10 of clubs that you were supposed to remember, which was on the, the end, you're gonna put on top of the two of diamonds, grab the whole deck again, and you're gonna go with Josh's turn. You're gonna say, Josh, tell me when to stop. Stop. Three of hearts. Now on this end is the jack of spades because it was on the bottom of the other pile we would put on top. You put the jack of spades on top of the three of hearts, okay? Next, you're gonna fan it out. Find their card. Now you're gonna say, I'm gonna predict. This one should be the jack of spades because you remember putting it on top. That was the bottom card. Boom. You were right. This one should be the 10 of clubs. Boom. Magic. So there you guys have it. Those are three simple, easy, awesome <laughs> card tricks that you guys can absolutely do at home right now. Give it a shot. These are very easy. Have some fun with them, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys can follow me on Instagram, at Danocracy, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.